No man thinks more highly than I do of the patriotism, as well as abilities of the very worthy gentlemen who have just addressed the house. But different men often see the same subject in different lights. For my own part, I consider it as nothing less than a question of freedom or slavery. I wish to know what there has been in the conduct of the British ministry for the last 10 years to justify those hopes with which gentlemen have been pleased to solace themselves and the house. Ask yourselves how this gracious reception of our petition comports with those warlike preparations which cover our waters and darken our land. Are fleets and armies necessary to a work of love and reconciliation? These are the implements of war and subjugation, the last arguments to which kings resort. They are sent over to bind and rivet upon us those chains which the British ministry have been so long forging. And what have we to oppose them? Shall we try argument? Sir, we have been trying that for the last 10 years. If we wish to be free, we must fight. They tell us, sir, that we are weak, unable to cope with so formidable an adversary. Sir, we are not weak. If we make a proper use of those means which the God of nature hath placed in our power, the millions of people armed in the holy cause of liberty and in such a country as that which we possess are invincible by any force which our enemy can send against us. There is a just God who presides over the destinies of nations and who will raise up friends to fight our battles for us. The war is inevitable and let it come. I repeat, sir, let it come. The next gale that sweeps from the north will bring to our ears the clash of resounding arms. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death.